Name's Zidane. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. How are your people holding up? There's no shortage of work. That's for damn sure. All right. Farewell. Okay, so Tagen's notes. I'll just leave it one for now. Um, and done. Upgrade that shit if I can yet. Okay, I, I'll i get them eventually. The smith is down here. If I recall correctly, there's some stuff to pick up around here. Ring of life, dra uh, life drain. Put that shit on. Yes. for now.
Wait, did I buy it? Okay, so let me give Solus the this other one. All right. Um What about what about um, headwear? Okay, let's, 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 wait, first of all, let me see what I have, I just put, what did I just put on, Apprentice Armor 77, okay. Okay, let me make shit. I don't have enough for anything. Another time. All right.
Okay. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay, let me, let me, um, Okay. Okay, let's let's look at what Solus has. Let's get the fuck out of here. See reason, listen. We cannot stay here. Why not? Because Yes. Yeah, I'm not. I will talk to you later. Walk in the Maker's grace. Yeah, I all this talking and stuff. I I uh, not gonna be uh, doing a lot of talking in this LP. And it's also racist as fuck. Oh yeah, I'm gonna side with the mages in this playthrough, guys. Let me find the notes while I'm at it.
I devoted 200 hours of my life to this game. Which is the mark of a great RPG. When you barely even feel the time that you spent on it. Shit, come on, how many elf roots are there? Fuck. Well, it's an important plant, so... There must be something here. Now, I think there's something up th around here as well. Why am I, why am I including this grinding in the in the uh, this session? Because it's all part of the beginning of introducing people to Haven, so... So, I'm going back. in one piece. You said you thought Master Tajan was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here, but he couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up, you just give the word. Farewell. <laughs> Okay, back we go. Does it trouble you? Stop spreading, and it doesn't hurt. We take our victories where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. 
That is not easy to come by. Clearly, you have something in mind. We do. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Yep. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. They still think I'm guilty. That is not the entirety of it any longer. Some are calling you, a mage, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the Temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading? Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? It's... a little unsettling. <laughs> I'm sure the Chantry would agree. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. They aren't more concerned about the breach, the real threat. They do know it's a threat, they just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it worse. Assholes. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. What have your ears heard, Leliana? Anything new we don't already know about? No, nothing. Okay.
of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. Everyone's a little nervous around mages right now, but you'll get no backtalk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Okay. Okay, Cassandra. Wait, first of all, let me look at everybody's weapons. Okay, the Morning Star for for uh to start with um she started off with a one-handed weapon and a shield, but last playthrough I, I switched her to a two-hander, and she was badass with all that. I had, I had, um, well, you haven't seen him yet, but you will later. Iron, Bur Iron Bull, I had him with a um, one-hander and a shield. And that worked out well. And Cassandra and Blackwall with both two-handed weapons. And that worked out really well. But for now, let me, uh... Okay, let's keep them with Bianca for now. Um, hmm. Uh, I I made Solus my uh, ice expert.
Yeah, I'm going to leave this for now and uh, come back later today or tomorrow. No, later today.